Hello everyone, my name is Chris Bernardo. I'm an engineer here at AT Controls and today I just wanted to go through a quick webinar on our new AS series butterfly valves. They are our PFA line butterfly valves. Um, about five slides. Um, at the end if you have any questions you can you can uh, leave it in the live chat and I'll answer them at the end. Uh, some of the features of the valve, the temperature rating is negative 20 to 355 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's just a function of the material of the valve, the PFA and PTFE. Um, pressure is up to 150 PSI gauge. There's a spark test to check that, that PFA lining to make sure that everything is okay. And the standards that it meets, it is API 609 design and manufactured. It goes through seat leak tests for API 598 with air, water for the shell test. Meets B16.5 end connections. That's 150 pound lug and wafer. And it's, it's important to point out that it does not meet class pressure ratings, but they do have those end connections. So it does meet, it's 150 PSI gauge limit for pressure. It does not go up to 285, for example, for class 150 and it meets B16.1 face-to-face -face dimensions. It of course has ISO 5211 mounting dimensions. They are direct, direct mountable. They have the same, if you're familiar with our resilient seated butterfly valve dimensions, they have the same dimensions for direct mounts. And it, we do have EN10204 3.1 MTRs. This valve will mainly be, should mainly be used in corrosive applications like hydrochloric acid, sulfuric uh, acid, wet, wet chlorine. Um, but it's important to note that the, the lining won't take well to abrasive applications, so you do want to avoid applications with abrasive media as it will cut through the lining. The disc, it's a PFA slash CF8, which is cast 304 stainless steel. It has a minimum thickness of three millimeters. Um, we have a 17.4 pH stem that's actually not a non-wetted part, so you won't have to worry about corrosion. And it helps with maximum level stem torque issues. We have live loaded packing, which you'll see in the next slide, we'll go through that. Um, our stock currently is um, carbon steel bodies, and we do have, we do have available uh, stainless steel bodies but they're not currently in stock. And just like we were just talking about on the previous slide, it's ISO 5211 direct mount. Okay, so that so talking about that live loaded packing and the three seal protection, you'll have your seat right here. That'll be the first line of defense right over here. Then if it does get past the seat, um, you'll it'll run into the O-ring. And then after the O-ring, you do have that uh, V-seal ring. So you have three layers of protection there. And the live loaded packing, you see the bevel washers here, will self-adjust um, for the life of the valve so that you'll have equal, you'll have good, um, good pressure on the ceiling. Um, some things to note, um, while it is tested at the factory to API 598, we can test it again here. Um, and we'll get, we can give you a test report showing those, um, showing those uh, results. And like I mentioned before, the 17.4 pH stem, it, while it's not a wetted part, um, it's helpful because it helps to avoid any maximum allowable stem torque issues. The epoxy paint is good corrosion resistant paint. It doesn't chip, so that's very good. And to point to an improvement on our last, um, our last line valves, we chose PFA and PTFE for low friction and torques. So we'll have low, lower torques for the valve. Uh, our availability, we initially have um, quantity 10 of each style, so both 150 pound lug and 150 pound wafer. Um, two through 12, excluding the five inch of the carbon steel bodies. But we do have uh, stainless steel uh, valves available, but they do have a 16 week lead time. And um, all this information is in our updated resilient seated butterfly valve catalog. And the AS series is the information for the AS series. It's on page 10 and it goes from there. And it's currently on the website. 
Uh, any questions, uh, if you can leave some in the live chat there. But if not, and if you can't think of any right now, um, my email is right there. Um, feel free to shoot me an email about any questions you have. And you can call our main number as well, 513-247-5465, uh, and just ask for Chris Bernardo um, for any more questions like that. Thank you for your time.